All right, guys, we're gonna be going over the trigger and alarm functions here on the DVR system. Um, what a trigger does, it allows you to assign one of our triggers here, as you can see, um, to a certain particular camera feed. So if, for example, when you back up and reverse, you wanna actually have that camera feed shown on the entire um, monitor and displayed there, um, that allows you to do that. The alarm function protects certain footage from being overwritten. Now we're gonna go through the steps to set and assign uh, your triggers and your camera feeds. So again, you're gonna log in to the DVR. Your password is six times the number eight. As you can see here, you select alarm, sensor. On the top line, this is where you're gonna match your uh, trigger wire to your channel. So as, uh, as you can see here, we've set as our uh, IO-1 as the trigger and we, we assigned it to link to channel one. You're gonna hit enable, go to on, hit save, and just hit return to get you back to the main screen. Once you've assigned uh, a certain trigger to the channel that you wanna be displayed on the monitor, you come over to your, your harness and just grab that trigger that you assigned originally. As you can see here, we assigned uh, trigger one and as, as you can see just again just give power to it and that's gonna show that's gonna display your camera feed on the monitor in this case we selected trigger one on channel one and there you go you can see um, that once you give power to the trigger that, that channel feed the corresponding channel feed is now displayed on the monitor um, and in this case we're gonna remove the power from the feed um, and it just takes a couple seconds and again you can assign that on the, on, the, on the settings and it will go back to the default display. So in the case that you actually wanna protect your footage that's being triggered, um, all you have to do is set an alarm. So here we go, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Log in again, six times the number eight. Select alarm, sensor. And as you can see here, we already have it assigned, triggered one to channel one. Um, but let's say in the case that you want to protect that footage. You want to go to type, select that, select alarm. Every time uh, there is power given to the trigger, this footage will actually be protected. Now also in the case if, for example, you don't actually want the camera feed to be displayed on the monitor, but you still want the actual activity to be protected, all you have to do is go to channel and select none. save. So now I'm going to give power to trigger one. Um, and as you'll notice, in this case, uh, the camera feed is not being shown. But what this is, what this is doing is telling the DVR to overwrite protect the footage. 